laser module you want to basically shoot the laser beam and reflect it onto the drum and basically write the images that the Xerox printer prints as you could see it's 755 to 865 nanometer laser beam which seems rather far rather long um, 865 should be in the infrared range all of this should still be in the visible range if I remember correctly if I'm wrong I'll put it in the description when I check it up <sighs> making the video itself jumping into this now what we have here is there's a module not 100% sure what this is probably control of it the board well some sort of control of it the board yeah which will be the control of the entire device um, seems like a typical port there I'll have to check that power obviously there big caps some big caps and doctor and then there's a port on this side here don't know what that is it has a number on it not 100% sure what that is and what feedback that provides and this entire thing was basically on pivots inside the device so what I'm going to do is crack it open and we'll have a look next piece was here pivots it there's also let's have a look here there's something in there we'll figure out that out is so yeah let's open this inside it's a very well done mold this is clearly a metal mold aluminum housing and i mean extremely well done somebody spent a bit of money on this this here is clearly the laser there's a line that mark sounds a bit rough it's like appearance going i didn't expect it to sound that rough laser shoots come straight across goes through this lens which appears to be hollow i'll check that the plastic hits a mirror at the bottom here then reflects and hits a mirror up here so these mirrors are most likely 45 to the parallel and then 45 so 90 degrees apart that then reflects across straight across to here and then another 45 here and that goes down and gets onto the drum what they've done is they've basically taken a smaller mirror on this side use a lens and got it to expand it going back out so that's simple enough not sure what this is i'll have to try to see if i can figure this out it appears to be a mirror in itself chances are this is not feeling like a stepper motor so it's a servo probably a three-phase motor so it's driven at a very specific speed i'm seeing two pots in here true from the board interesting place to put those pots to be able to make the adjustments to this apart from that ah, there's another mirror here which I am not sure how that one works and it seems to have something on this side so something reflects off of here at the correct angle hits this and probably ends up there I'm not sure I'm gonna have to watch it a little bit better but this this seems to be aligned with this one which comes out here which is what that board is a little sensor there so let's take these things out still not catching exactly how this one works at the correct angle how does that end up here it has to be coming off of that all right we'll have a look at that a little bit more jumping in this is indeed a plastic lens so yeah exactly as you expected a convex plastic lens two clips on it the mirror that was here and the clip removed this mirror is a double-sided well it's a single-sided mirror but what happens is they did not coat the other side with any sort of paint or um any varnish or anything else so it looks just as shiny, shiny on both sides this is a basically lens magnifier as it stands so well, minimal usefulness uh, what else have I taken out? Right, this next one, same thing, same kind of mirror. And then this piece on the side here, it's a whole chip. There's a full chip, right, with some kind of, I don't know if it's a CCD, it may be a CCD, a primitive CCD, 
and then there's another sensitive part here this piece of um, lens here is basically circular a curved piece of lens so yeah not sure why they need a full chip there but clearly they need something more than just a photo transistor or photo diode the one last thing is this piece that was here that is a lens but that lens has some kind of coating on it it's proper glass but there's a coating on it again coatings are very specialized can't really tell what this way just you know observing open this little piece inside here i realize all the previous theories were in fact wrong i've just left them in because there's information in there and there's thoughts but anyway this is a laser in fact so that is not what happens laser comes in through here goes through this lens and basically it becomes a bit finer line the other piece of glass here i guess it filters to some extent to make sure that you get the specific wavelengths that you're looking for it hits this mirror that was here and goes onto this this is in fact a reflector so if i turn it to this side you can see the reflection so i'll take that out and we'll have a look at that in a little bit so that reflects the light onto the lens that was here before and then does the same thing i said hits the bottom one hits the top one goes across hits the top one goes down through and hits the drum but yeah that isn't the laser that is actually just a rotating mirror like a disco the piece that was here which the motto have the control the power from here and it comes to this there's a chip here is lb1872 i could look that up maybe will maybe won't we'll see the board is a little bit um well corroded considering how neat everything else is here how nice this board is how clean this is it's a bit odd that this one looks looks like this which is sitting here and not sitting there anyway you can see the coils of the motor from here and it looks interesting enough so four screws we're gonna open that up and just have a look at the coils of the motor very interesting as we can see the coils here this is a magnet here so brushless dc motor well brushless dc motor already is a three-phase dc motor but not but standing the interesting part about this is not the actual motor that, that's normal that's fine this is a ceramic fitting and this is a ceramic housing and this fits in there pretty tight as you can see this is a fairly nice you hear it you hear it moving against it, the, the, each other that's why it sounded like that there is practically you know minimal tolerance in this i would put this at probably under a towel it is not an interference fit but it is definitely probably under a towel if at all this thing is almost like a bearing it is excellent they've done ceramic bushings against each other it's, it's brilliant it's actually brilliant um apart from that the motor is really not that amusing but yeah nice nice finish this is not going to weigh easily it's not going to give out it's going to be a way more um longer life and better precision over the life than a bearing i'm pretty sure about that and that means that's pretty much why they would have used something like this this is not something you could change out through the life of the device so it has to be something that has the tolerance and will maintain that tolerance for the life. Brilliant.